In the small Asian village of Serenity Falls, there once lived a legendary fighter. A fighter so legendary that his legend was legendary. No opponent was too great for this almighty warrior. His name was Zebo. So fierce was this warrior, no one dared to utter his name. Hey, Zebo, stop daydreaming and keep mopping. Huh? I'm out of here, Z-Boy. Got to go to the gym and get my workout on. Perfect bodies like this don't sculpt themselves, you know. I hate to interrupt this love fest, but have you seen Grandmaster Han? Sure, he's right there. <laughs> Perfect wit. Perfect body. Line up, felines! Uh, do you think I could talk to Grandmaster Han? Oh, you don't talk to Grandmaster Han. Grandmaster Han talks to you. Oh, do you think Grandmaster Han will talk to me? Not a chance. Unless... Unless? Unless Grandmaster Han spills his tea and asks you to mop it up for him. <laughs> oh, I kid because I love to laugh at you. <laughs> oh, come on. Bowley didn't mean to hurt Zebo's widow feelings. <laughs> you missed his spot. <laughs> I got such a crack on my <laughs> Oh. And the mighty warrior Zebo grew tired of Bali and unleashed the white hot fury of a thousand suns. Mighty warrior needs assistance. There once lived a legendary fighter. So legendary that his legend was legendary. No opponent was too great for this almighty warrior. You didn't fight a dinosaur. That's impossible. He did too. Did not. Did too. Did not. Dad, tell him. Uh, he's right, son. I didn't fight a dinosaur. I fought two dinosaurs! <laughs> that is so cool! No way! Dinosaurs haven't roamed the Earth in 200 million years. Oh, well, these dinosaurs fell through a wormhole and were transported into the future! Yeah! There is no observational evidence for wormholes. Shouldn't you be in the gifted class? And even if they did exist, traversable wormholes would only exist in space. Precisely, Einstein, which is why their dino spaceship veered off course before it was caught in the wormhole's gravitational pull! <laughs> that was awesome, Dad. I can't wait till my friends see you in action at the dojo tonight. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? No, Ming! No go on the dojo tonight -o. I haven't even had a chance to talk to Grandmaster Han about it. But you said me and my friends could come see you at the dojo where you train. I know, but I didn't say when. You did too. I asked you when we could go to the dojo and you said someday. Today is someday. Uh, no. Today is today. Someday is... Tomorrow? No, tomorrow is tomorrow, today is today, and someday is... When? Well, someday is someday. That's all. It's its own day. That's not today or tomorrow, but some distant day way in the future, like interplanetary teleportation, telepathic mind-melding future. But I already told my friends about it this morning. Oh, come on. You know how friends are. I bet they already forgot all about it. See you tonight at the dojo, Ming. Please, Dad. I'll never ask for anything ever again as long as I roam the planet. I promise. I double promise. I triple promise. The answer is no. I wish Mom were still here. She would have said yes. Yeah, I wish Mom were still here too. Tell you what. I'll talk to Grandmaster Han today, see what I can do. Promise? 
I triple promise. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Oh, 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 oh. Daisy. Maybe I came at a bad time? Nonsense. Time is neither good nor bad. Your timing, however, could not be worse. Uh, sorry about that, Grandmaster. Come, you have captured my attention. Now make good use of it. Right. Make good use of it. <laughs> Nothing like a little pressure to cook the goose. Uh... What is it that weighs so heavily on your mind? Well, here it goes. I was wondering if I could bring my son and a few of his friends to the dojo. Here. Never ask a question to which you already know the answer. Okay. Um, that's a tough one because that would imply I know the answer, which I don't. Search your heart. Mm, nope. Still don't know. Let me ask you a question then. Do you actually think I would turn away your son and his friends? Well, no, I didn't mean that, but I thought that since I'm just the janitor, I... Just? True, there is only one son. But should we place any less value on those things of which there are many? Are they just flowers? Just trees? Just butterflies? Just bees? Everybody and everything has a place of equal importance in the universe. Gee... When you put it that way... The dojo is welcome to all who wish to enter. Oh, thank you, Grandmaster, Sir, Your Highness, Sir! Oh. You're welcome, Zebo. And remember, a mop in the right hand can be more powerful than a sword in the left. Yeah, tell that to the guy with the sword. <laughs> he needn't believe for it to be so. The young man knows the rules. The wise man knows the exceptions. You lost me at your welcome, Zebo. You see, the real weapon is here, not here. I'd be worried about losing the blood in here. Worry is rust upon the blade. Wow, how did you become so wise, Grandmaster? Second edition. Here, take it. Really? Oh, but the, the pages, they're, they're all blank. Exactly. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. Oh, I know nothing. How dare you come to me empty-handed? I was going to stop off and pick out a nice house plant for the place. You know, give the dinner splash of color and whatnot. But I was running late and I really didn't have- I'm talking about the amulet, you fool. Right, the amulet. I haven't found it. Yet, the search is a difficult one, Master. Made more difficult by the presence of another. Another? The Night Janitor. A panda named Sebo. You've been thwarted by a 200-pound bamboo-eating maid. I say it tips the scales closer to 300, actually. Search again, Bali. Search until you can search no more. Then search some more. The Amulet of Fury is hidden somewhere in my brother's dojo. Find it! Yes, Master. With the Amulet in my possession, I will be able to rule Serenity Falls with an iron fist and crush all those who oppose my will. <laughs> Can I make a suggestion before I go? If you're going to suggest I paint the wall chartreuse again, then no, you cannot. Uh, no, no, I wasn't. Although I still maintain a chartreuse accent wall would really bring the outdoors in. What is your suggestion? The first thing you should do when you're in power is rename the village. I mean, Serenity Falls, really? Really? Serenity is a state of being calm and peaceful and untroubled. I like the irony. Irony isn't very amusing, especially to the oppressed. I'd ditch the naming, come up with something more in keeping with a whole iron fist crushing the opposition into oblivion angle. Such as? 
Oh, I don't know. Something catchy. Something powerful. How about Bollywood? Get out! And return tomorrow with the amulet. Or suffer my wrath. Yes, master. Yes, master. Bollywood. What a nice ride, actually. Oh, more powerful than a sword. Hmm. Surrender, my inferior foe, my inadequate adversary, my measly menace, or perish at my hands! Oh, I will never surrender! Oh, never say never! <coughs> ah, what? Miss me! Ah, want a piece of this? Ah, it's gonna be me. What's he doing? He's training! To do what? Fight Mr. Clean? Oh, please stop! My swordplay is no match for your superior fighting skills! I surrender! <laughs> and that's how the hundred year rule of the evil warlord came to its much celebrated end! <laughs> wow, that was amazing! Huh? Oh, what, that? Just, uh, doing a little battle conditioning, that's all. I never heard of a warrior training with a mop before. Oh, a wise man once told me, a mop in the left hand can be more powerful than a sword in the wrong one. Well, it made sense when he said it. Where should we put our sleeping bags? Uh, why did you bring sleeping bags? It wouldn't be very comfortable to sleep on the wooden floors. Oh, uh, no, 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 nobody's sleeping anywhere. Hear that, guys? It's going to be an all-nighter! Yay! Hi, I'm Shiva. Thanks for letting us come here, Master Zebo. Master Zebo? Well, all are welcome to the dojo who wish to enter. Why is it called a dojo? Why do you think it's called dojo? Dojo means place of the way, the way being the art of Taekwondo. Yes, exactly, place of the way, right. And what is your name? His name is Koji. Koji doesn't like to talk. Ah, the strong, silent type. Just the silent type. Remember, Kujo, the real weapon is here, not here. So, what's the difference between Taekwondo and Karate? About three letters. Funny, Dad. So what is the difference? The difference, yes. Well, Karate is more of a high <laughs> kind of thing, and Taekwondo is more like <laughs> Can you show us how you train to be a great warrior? Oh, uh, great warriorness is very complicated. Years and years of intense training. Come on, show him, Dad. Break some boards in half with your bare paws. Yeah! You can do that? Sure he can, right, Dad? <laughs> I... ah! oh! Just warming up. You did it! Now, there's much more to Taekwondo than just physical strength. It's important to train your mind, too. If my mind was an athlete, it could run a marathon. If it didn't trip over your ego. <laughs> Okay, now, make a fist with one paw. Keep your other palm flat. Now, strike your fist against your palm three times while chanting stone, cloth, shears. Then choose one wisely. Wait, isn't this just rock, paper, scissors? No, oh, it goes by many names. Jen Can Pon, Schnick Schnack Schnook, Ching Chong Chow, Bippity Boppity Boop. Well, 
What do any of them have to do with Taekwondo? It's just a silly game. Haha, <laughs> the rules might be simple, but the game is as complex as the mind of your opponent. Isn't it just luck? It's a game of strategy and intuition. You must anticipate your opponent's choice or face certain defeat. Gee, I never thought of it that way. Neither did I. I mean, neither did I at your age. So how do you guess what they're gonna pick? You must know the heart of your opponent. Rock is the most barbaric move and will be used by the most aggressive of your opponents. Scissors, while still aggressive, is a more controlled choice used by a clever, crafty opponent. And paper? Ah, yes. Paper is the choice of the wise. But don't mistake it for weakness. No, there is a quiet power in words on paper. They have the ability to declare war against nations, spread gossip, or profess one's undying love. <sighs> okay, enough talk. How about a demonstration? Who wants to volunteer? Oh, oh, I do. Now remember, you are but a student. I am the master. Now watch carefully as I anticipate the moves of my opponent. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. Scissors, scissors cuts paper. Yeah. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Paper covers rock. Yeah. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Rock smashes scissors. This is fun. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Rock, rock, paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Rock, rock, paper, scissors. 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 Paper covers rock. I'm tired of this game. I quit. Ah, uh, a winner who quits loses. So I win. Uh, oh. Quickly snatch the pebble from my paw. When you can take the pebble from my palm, then your training will be complete. Where'd it go? That doesn't count, I didn't say go. Go. <laughs> go. Oh. <laughs> go. <laughs> we need to come up with a different test for you. Now I will show you some basic kendo fighting techniques using a common household mop. Why not just use one of the bamboo fighting sticks? Uh, bamboo makes up 98% of a panda's diet. <laughs> I usually eat the stick halfway through practice. <laughs> Master Zebo, who is that? Ooh, that is Grandmaster Han. He is one of the greatest warriors ever to roam the earth. The great tiger warrior who brought peace to Serenity Falls. Wow, how did he do that? He banished his evil twin brother Slade from the valley forever. Where did he go? Well, nobody really knows Slade's whereabouts. Some think he's hiding in the mountains, waiting for just the right time to return, take revenge on Grandmaster Han, and rule Serenity Falls forever. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid, Kojak. As long as the Amulet of Fury is out of Slade's reach, he is powerless to do any real harm. The Amulet of Fury? Is that the amulet? Yes. It is said to give anyone who wears it great power. What kind of power? Great power. Like what? Uh, extraordinary. More specifically? Magnificent, impressive, awe-inspiring, utter, out-and-out, out, downright, absolute power. What gives the amulet its power? The crystal amulet contains lava from the depths of the Mount Baikdu volcano. Whoa, that is awesome. Yeah, Mount Baikdu is called the Divine Mountain because some believe it is the birthplace of our ancestors. 
The amulet has been handed down from one Grandmaster to the next for thousands of years. Where does Grandmaster Han keep the amulet? Oh, only he knows where it is kept. But it is said to be hidden somewhere in the dojo. Here in this dojo? Cool! Let's find it! Oh, no, you're not looking for anything. The Amulet of Fury is not a toy. Otherwise, it'd be called the Amulet of Amusement. Let's get back to our kendo exercises. Yippee. Back to the mop. Now, make fun if you want, but when you master these moves, you'll be mopping up your opponent. <laughs> get it? <laughs> mopping up your opponent? <laughs> Is this thing on? All kidding aside, kids, allow me to demonstrate a classic kendo move called Kiri Kaeshi. I will strike the left and right sides of my opponent in rapid succession. This requires a number of important skills, like accuracy, rhythm, and smoothness, all while building spirit and stamina. Watch and learn. <laughs> What is he doing? Maybe he had a stroke. I think he's meditating. Yes! Meditating! Blimey! You've brought me the amulet. Uh, not exactly. But I didn't come empty-handed. Did I not tell you? If you returned empty-handed, you would suffer my wrath. Did I not tell you? If you returned empty-handed, you would suffer more. What are you doing? I'm sorry. It's just that the phrasing of your question is a tad confusing. When you say, did I not tell you, are you asking me if you didn't tell me, or if you did tell me? Oh. I'm so sorry for the confusion. It was a rhetorical question, really. Here, let me rephrase the question as a statement. Prepare to meet your maker! My mom's here. <sighs> Any last words before I put an end to my misery by putting an end to you? Please, I beg of you, I have a very good explanation. Then I suggest you explain quickly while you can still breathe. Remember that night janitor I told you about? The fat panda? That's the bloke. Well, there are others at the dojo tonight. Others? A group of small animals. <sighs> Perhaps they're his dinner. I recognize one of them as his son. And what does this have to do with finding the amulet? You're not suggesting you were unable to search for it because of this pot-bellied panda and his merry band of half-pint ankle biters, are you? Boy, you're good. You really know how to raid people. Hmm. Well, I'm feeling uncharacteristically merciful. So I will give you a choice. You can go back to the dojo and bring the amulet to me by sunrise. Or you can stay here and die what I assure you will be a very slow and thoroughly painful death. thinks about when he's meditating. I don't know. Well, maybe he thinks about your mom. Maybe. Does he miss her? I think so. I bet he does. Yeah. Do you miss her? Yeah. When my mom got sick, she told me she'd watch over me even when I couldn't see her anymore. Do you think she's watching over you now? I don't know. I think she is. I'm glad I came tonight. Me too. Koji, 
was that you? Gross! <laughs> nice one, Koji. Why'd I ever leave jolly old England? The pubs, the royal palaces, the white cliffs of Dover, the pubs. Oh, Master Bali. Boy, am I glad to see you. Could you, could you give me a hand? Is it your back again? Uh, afraid so. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, heave, ho! Oh! 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 Ah! Ah! Much better. A burglar! Hurry! Master Zebo needs help! No, no, it's all right. He's not a burglar. This is Master Bali. Are you okay? I see. Do I feel much better if your entire weight wasn't resting on my spleen? Of course. Sorry about that, Master. Oh, oh blimey. What are you doing here so late? Master Han sent me to retrieve the Amulet of Fury. Whoa! The Amulet? Yes. He gave me strict instructions to find it and bring it to him before sunrise. Wait, 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 wait. Master Han told you where the Amulet is hidden? Yes, of course. I couldn't very well retrieve it if I didn't know exactly precisely where it was hidden. Can I see it? I want to see it too. Me too. No, 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 and uh-uh. Aw, please, Dad. I don't presume there could be any harm in it, do you? Well, I... It's settled then. Oh, boy. Thanks, Master Bolly. No, oh, not at all, not at all. Tell you what, why don't we make a sport of it? A treasure hunt sort of thing. You all try to find the secret hiding place, and the first one to find the amulet gets to hold it. The others only get to look at it. Cool! I can't wait! Gee, I don't know. Paging Mr. Party Pooper, paging Mr. Party Pooper, please report to the No Fun Zone to collect your booby prize. <laughs> I'm not a party pooper! I just don't think... Party pooper, party pooper, party pooper, party pooper, party pooper. Party pooper, party pooper, party pooper, party pooper. Party pooper. Hold it! I'm not poo-pooing on anybody's party. Party. It's just... Mr. That party. I... Pooper. Fine, you win. Brilliant. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh. Let's all get started then, shall we? Uh, I get to play too, right? The more the merrier, my portly panda pal. On your marks, get set. Go! <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> Easy peasy. <laughs> Blimey, the sun. We give up, Master Bali. You can't give up. Not now. <laughs> Just go ahead and tell us where the amulet is hidden. How the bloomin' onion will I know? You said Grandmaster Han told you exactly precisely where it was. I know what I said, but it took all of you so bloody long to search for it that I completely forgot. You really don't remember? Gee, you might want to start playing Sudoku. They say it helps keep your mind sharp. I don't need brain games. I need the amulet. The amulet of fury. I found it. You found it. Hurry, we must get it down quickly. But it's too high. How can we reach it? With a ladder. We don't have a ladder. We are the ladder. That's it. Hurry, Kobe. My legs are cramping up. Yes. Yes. Now, throw it down to me. Can we see it? Scram. This isn't show and tell. But you said... Never mind what I said. My eye will be stretched, tried, tanned, and made into some of the Endothor's fashion accessory if I don't get this amulet to slay it at once. Slayed? You just said Slade. 
No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, yes you, you did. did. No, I didn't. Yes, I'm afraid you did. No, I didn't. Yes, I'm afraid you did. Slide, what a surprise. I was beginning to think you weren't going to come back. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. Oh, no, 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 no need, Master. It, it took a bit longer than I'd hoped, but I found the amulet. Give the amulet to me, Panda, and I will spare you and your little circus animals your lives. Dad, you're not going to give it to him, are you? How adorable. It speaks. Now, hand over the amulet so I can get on with my iron-fisted tyrannical rule of Serenity Falls. Dad, you're gonna stop him, right? You think a janitor can stop a great and powerful warrior like Slade? Janitor? My dad's the greatest warrior of all time. There's no opponent too powerful for him. You even have your own son believing your silly stories? They're not stories. It's the truth. <laughs> the truth is your dad does nothing more than clean up after other animals' messes. You're lying! My dad's so legendary, even his legend is legendary. Tell him, Dad! I'm sorry, Ming. They're right. I'm not a great warrior at all. I'm just a janitor. <gasps> Just, do you not remember anything I taught you? Ah, brother. I warned you never to return to this place. Mm. I warned you never to return to this place. Always the righteous one. What a bore you must be at parties. I will count to three. Be gone, or leave me with no choice but to remove you by force. You and what army? An army of one, two, three. Still here, bro. Not for long, Sherman. Sherman? <sighs> I told you never to call me that. But it's your birth name, Sherman Neville. You can't win, Slade. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. For the love of Pete, don't start with the Yoda quotes. You did that when we were kids and it drove me bonkers. Actually, it's Obi-Wan, not Yoda. I don't care if it was Jar Jar Pickles. Binks. Insufferable fool! I can't say he's my favorite character either. Not him! You! Give me the amulet, janitor. No. Then die. That's it? There's no other option but die? Get him, Dad. Ah, I can't watch. Somebody tell me what's happening. Bali is kicking Master Zeebo's. No, he's not. Okay, now he is. Dad, look! Out! Master, I have the amulet! Ah, it's mine. All mine. I've waited long for this day. With the amulet in my possession, soon I will be king, and all of Serenity Falls will bow at my feet. Quick, we have to do something! I got an idea. What? Run! No, we have to get the amulet. How? 
Koji, do you have any of those stones you took from my dad's palm? Perfect. I'll distract them by throwing the stones at them, and you grab the amulet. Got it? I can hear everything you're saying. Your voice bounces right off these wood floors. You might want to try whispering next time. Not that it would matter. No distraction would be great enough for that banana-peeling primate to take the amulet away from me. Wow, you are fast! <laughs> I am fast too. Now give me the amulet. No! Then I'll take it from you! Quick, Dad, put it on! saved Serenity Falls from a horrible fate. Well, it wasn't me, really. It was the Amulet of Fury. The power of the Amulet rests in the mind of the one who possesses it. So when one asks where the Amulet gets its power, I answer, from within. You're saying I did all this? Like the Book of Wisdom I gave you, the Amulet is only as powerful as the person who possesses it. To some, it has all the answers. To others, it asks only questions. So you are a great warrior. Your son speaks the truth, Master Zebo. Master Zebo? You have achieved in an afternoon what many never achieve in a lifetime. And with more training, who knows? Maybe you'll become a grandmaster, like me. I'll try not to disappoint you. Do or do not. There is no try. In the small Asian village of Serenity Falls, there once lived a legendary fighter. A fighter so legendary that his legend was legendary. No opponent was too great for this almighty warrior. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. He was Grandmaster Grand Zebo. So loved was this warrior, everyone knew his name. <laughs>